So during winter months, we are experiencing high uh, volumes of people who are struggling with their chest. And when you're struggling with your chest, it's usually from a phlegm buildup that you're unable to get rid of that phlegm. That phlegm becomes sticky and it's difficult to cough out. So in the previous video, we spoke about the active cycle of breathing technique, which helps to um, get airflow into your lung and to reduce um, your phlegm by helping you to get rid of it. In this video, I'm going to talk about positive expiratory pressure or PEP. And we use a couple of devices to um, help you to get positive air pressure into your lungs to help to open up the little alveoli and little breathing um, tubes which may become either blocked with phlegm or if the phlegm is sticky they collapse and they get stuck together. Then it's difficult obviously to get air into the little alveoli or the little um, bubbles where the gas exchange happens. So obviously if you are blocked there you're going to lose oxygenation to your body and to your brain and uh, that also makes you feel really tired and weak. So by doing these techniques you're going to help to open up or prop open those, um, those air vessels and we're going to help to get a, a better gas exchange. So the first thing that we use is a blow bottle. So this is obviously a very small version but what you can do at home is to fill a bottle of, um, of water. So take perhaps rather a um, milk bottle or um, a one or two litre water bottle. You're going to fill it with water, hopefully around half. If you, the higher you get, the more pressure you're going to have to blow. But start at half and then you can increase to three quarters at a later stage. You're then going to put a straw in it. So if you've got a big bottle, obviously a tubing would be better. So you can use like um, a fish tank tubing or so, and you're going to put that right to the bottom of the bottle. What you're going to do then is you're going to blow into this bottle so it takes a lot of pressure to overcome the weight of the water and by doing that you create a back pressure into your lungs which helps to split open the, air, the airways. So you can do this against this bottle. What you're going to do is take a breath in and then as you breathe out you're going to try and breathe out as long as you can by blowing the bubbles. So you take a breath in. And you blow out as long as you possibly can. You'll feel that the vibrations of the bubbles do translate into your lungs and they also help to um, loosen up any kind of secretions. You're going to then, after you've done that like eight to ten times, you're then going to huff. And a huff we spoke as a uh, forced breath out. So that's as if you're trying to mist up a window and you do kind of like <sighs> So you would do a long one, you would go as long as you can, that will help to get all the flame that's loosened up from the bottom of your lungs into a big airway, and then a short one to try and get whatever flame is in your big airways out so that you can cough it a lot easier. So you're going to carry on, you would do 8 to 10 breaths with a blow bottle, and then you would have um, a huff or a cough, and then some normal relaxed breathing, those belly breathings that we spoke of earlier, that you would then try and get your breathing rate to calm down so that you don't feel too dizzy. This pattern you would carry on for 8 to 10 minutes. You can also, if you don't have a blow bottle, use something like a balloon or a glove. And I'm not going to do this one, I'll save myself the embarrassment. But you can blow up against resistance. So either blowing up a glove or blowing up a balloon, that will also help to create a resistance that you're breathing out against that will help to prep open those um, the airways. If you have none of these things, then um, post lip breathing is the same idea. You just obviously have less resistance. So what you would do then is you take your breath in and then as you breathe out, you would breathe out against the post lip. So you'll feel there's more resistance to your airway and that will also cause the airways to pop open. So try these in a way of trying to re reduce your flare and to get it out a lot easier. Good luck with these and let's see how you go.